Uh, hey guys, in the previous video, I was showing you how to patch your your bike tube. Uh, so this this video is for a car and bicycle. Uh, they all have the same uh, Presto valves. Uh, but I'm gonna show you quick some other stuff. I have a video how to make your own cone wrench to uh, work on your axle there. This is from a lawnmower blade. And then the other side you can make for the 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 crank. Um, what you call the the bearing race. Uh, so uh, also you can take a piece of a bed frame this is a uh, very light and you can uh, cut your uh, yourself out a 15 millimeter I show that in my uh, making a cone wrench and uh, uh, other bike tools video so this is very light so I basically modified it from this very easy drilled some holes and this you can carry on your bike this is very light lighter than aluminum even though it's steel um, because it's so it's so thin um, but it's gonna be very strong so uh, if you have a, a leaky valve or if you're trying to pump your tire uh, and uh, it's really hard to press the handle of the pump that means you have a valve problem um, uh, possibly uh, so uh, also I have over here this is like a ten dollar pump I bought many years ago super cycle from Canadian tire this thing is amazing the amount of uh, pressure you can put from just one or two pumps with that thing never it's never failed either um, so I also mentioned in the other video that this uh, rubber cement that's included with these these packages at Walmart it doesn't dry. So I don't know if this is a bad batch, uh, but you could try the one from Canadian Tire or the one that comes in the bicycle tube repair kit. Try that rub rubber cement because this stuff it, it's not it doesn't work. Uh, it, last resort might be the best is a super glue. Uh, that stuff drive, dries instantly, so a lot of people say that's good for bicycle tubes. Uh, but if you have a leaky valve, you buy this thing from the Walmart. Uh, this package I got from the Walmart, that's a slime brand. It includes this tool here. This is like $5. Uh, a special tool. One end is for the valve core. So you can just, and it includes a whole bunch of valve cores, uh, different sizes or something. Uh, or a different style and the four valve caps with the rubber these metal ones have a rubber in there uh, which is not necessary but if you have a leaky valve cap uh, a valve cord this can maybe help but because um, these ones don't have a rubber in there so uh, but if you have a leaking valve first try to tighten it you stick that into the into the core you stick that into the the bike core and it has uh, a little a little a spot where you can put that uh, uh, the wrench the wrench over that and just tighten it up uh, or you can uh, if it's hard to pump it you can just unscrew that and put a new one of these valve cores or you can find an old tire uh, with a working valve uh, stem just unscrew the one out of there this is very easy stuff and just tighten it up and um, so a, a lot of time you buy a new car tire uh, and they, they haven't ins t properly tightened those uh, those valve cores. So all you need to do is tighten them up. Because uh, they have their own uh, a rubber uh, gasket and everything in there. Uh, so. Uh, and you can also buy like this whole package of uh, short, called short valve cores. So this is uh, for uh, a car, car or, or bicycle. It doesn't really say if it's for car. Uh, like it's meant for car, but it, it's the same valve as, as a bicycle. So it's the same valves. Um, so you, you can easily re replace your, your valve core. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you uh, this thing called stop and go. This is uh, superior to like something like that. That's an uh, emergency. So that's going to be in the next video. I'm going to show... Um, uh, how to like repair like a bike, uh, I mean a, a car tire. Uh, okay guys, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.